Hello, so I did quite a lot since my last video, um, but I wasn't able to publish this one uh, or create this one until now because I went up to Vegas, then Utah, then Arizona, and I didn't have much time to create a video then, but I was able to program a lot, so that is definitely awesome. Anyway, uh, just a little thing, uh, I don't normally use uh, local variables like this. It's not really good practice, it's just I was testing something with the particle system that I implemented. Okay, so pretty much the engine is in its first release mode now. So that means I can start making a game, and I'm very excited about that. Uh, first release mode meaning I can produce something. And you can see, it looks very awesome. I added Fong shading, diffuse shading right here, specular maps, uh, directional shadow mapping, omnidirectional shadow mapping, particles with a cool emitter system. So I could switch emitters, or uh, choose which emitter that I want to use for the particles. So I could use the same particles for different uh, particle emitters, which pretty much means if I want a fountain particle emitter like this one that sort of works in a fountain, but I also want to change those particles to suddenly be an explosion, I could do that on runtime really easily. So as an example, uh, this is what it looks like. I could just really quickly change them. And that was what that uh, uh, global variable was doing. It's just a boolean. I just created it quickly so I wouldn't have to, you know, mess up my format of what I'm doing right now. Anyway, um, this is pretty much the progress I have. And it's quite a lot of as you can see. Right now, uh, you can see on the top left corner that it is running at 1.2 to like 2 MSPF. And MSPF stands for milliseconds per frame. 1 millisecond per frame is 1000 FPS, and 2 milliseconds per frame is 500, I believe. Anyways, um, this computer normally runs at 0.9 to 1.2 MSPF, which is uh, 1,111 uh, FPS, that's the max, or uh, the biggest amount of FPS, and the minimum is 833 FPS for this computer. This is a decent computer, it runs very well, but for a laptop, it runs between 200 and 400 FPS, which is pretty awesome for a laptop. So I'm happy about that. By the way, text rendering, I implemented that. I use bitmap fonts because you can customize them. You could put an outline really easily, you know, use all sorts of colors, and it's not a problem. I really like it a lot. I made a little engine tool that exports my own binary file for the text map, essentially, and that works really well, speeds up development time, and it's great. I would recommend it, honestly. Uh, also, I supported big and little NDNS in um, computers, so certain, maybe consoles, will require a different byte order or bit order whatever, by order, yeah, by order. So I would have to switch the bytes around. And so essentially I implemented that, which was pretty straightforward. Uh, so that's kind of what I did in the back end. Anyway, uh, that's really it. I really like the particle system. Uh, I still need to implement soft particles, but I want to start a game first. I don't 
want to spend like a year working on an engine that's amazing than work a few months and get burnt out on a game that's not really that good with the engine that's amazing, you know? I would rather create a pretty decent engine and then build an amazing game on top of that. And then in the future, I could add special effects like Bloom or I don't know, just really cool things. And right now, I support normal maps by supporting shaders by default and implementing the normal map code into my engine, which uh, pretty much will detect if a texture is a normal map or not. But I do not have a shader for normal maps, but I do not need that right now, and my game may not need it at all. So I don't want to implement any features that I may or may not use. But if I know for sure that I'm going to use them, like particles, fun shading, diffuse shading, specular maps, I will definitely implement them. Especially animation like this. Uh, for 3D game, it's very important to have animation for the most part. I have played some great games that don't have animation, but it is very hard to pull off. But it's very possible. Very possible. Anyway, that's about it. Every everything looks pretty good, I mean... Spent quite a lot of time working on this. It's been three or four months since I've started. And now it's about time that I start my game. And it'll be a while before I have something playable. I mean, of course it'll be testable and whatever, but it won't be in alpha for a while. But I'll keep posting videos of the game and we'll see what I make. I mean, I don't even know what type of game. I don't know what it'll be, but that's my next thing to do on my to-do list. Find out what's next. Plan, you know, make a design document. Schedule everything, and you know, I really want to make something good, so. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, if you didn't, uh, feel free to not subscribe, that's cool too. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching anyway if you didn't like it, but you know, I, I find that kind of weird if you watch the full thing and don't like it, but whatever, whatever. Anyway, thanks, have a nice day, I hope you enjoyed this, um, bye bye.